We begin with breaking news now at five. A wildfire breaks out close enough to homes that some evacuations are ordered in Jefferson County. This is along Highway 285 near South Turkey Creek, which is near Indian Hills. Tonight, firefighters say that six acre fire is now contained. Your reporter in Jefferson County, Andrew Hobner, joining us live. He's dedicated to covering stories that impact the communities there. And Andrew, luckily, crews got this one under control fairly quickly. Yeah, but it was a little bit of a concern at the start, and I'm going to explain to you why. A lot of people might think that heat is the big ex uh, thing that creates a wildfire. It's actually not. It's wind and relative humidity. Now, the heat does play a role because you look at some of the brush right where I'm standing. Look how dry this is. When you have low relative humidity and a lot of heat, you end up with kindling like this. And then when there's wind on top of a fire from a spark or a cigarette or lightning strike, what ends up happening? is what you see right up on the hill there. This fire started down on the low end of Highway 285, and then because of the wind and the way the topography of the land is, it ran right up the hill toward 285, actually jumped across the highway on a couple of spots and created spot fires. But as you mentioned, when this fire grew to six acres, around 40 firefighters, 75% of whom were volunteers from local firefighting agencies around the area of unincorporated communities along 285 here, were able to get it contained. It is now 100% contained. There were five residences that were evacuated as well as Tiny Town. Those people are expected to get back in in the next few hours as crews do a lot of the mop up work here. But as we mentioned, the volunteer firefighters were the ones that stepped up huge in this situation and kept a bad fire from potentially getting significantly worse. Very proud of the response we had by the firefighters, especially the volunteer firefighters from the different agencies that are here. This would not have been a quick, the quick work it was without the work of those volunteer firefighters. So hats off to them. And as we mentioned, they're going to be here for just a few more hours, and then a lot of the final mop-up work is going to continue. Now, the people that have been evacuated should be allowed back in their homes relatively soon, and one lane on 285 is open on each side. Just off of 285 in Jefferson County, I'm Andrew Hodner, covering Colorado First. Andrew, thank you.